What I love about this work, there was a comment that Sam made in his artist statement where he says that for him this kind of adventure photography and being in nature is really great for his anxiety and he hopes that when people see his photos they have the same kind of a similar experience of calmness that he gets from those photographs as well. So I think that's a really beautiful way that art can reach out to others and connect people and also make people be thankful for the nature that they have around them. So it's lovely to have Sam's work in the gallery and um, I hope everybody really enjoys getting to see his photography which has been so beautifully framed as well by Uptown Picture Framing. They've done such a great job. As you can see we've, we've kind of uh, curated the show in a way to represent those um, elements that he's talking about. The earth, the water, the air. So we've got them in lovely groups to represent those and Sam and Mia, his studio assistant, had a lot to do with how we curated the show, we really consulted with them about how they wanted that to happen and um, it's been great to have Sam and his team be part of the process all the way along. Who is Sam? Mostly he's just lots of fun actually. He's just got this great approach to life and just wants to have a really good time all the time. He likes to take photos that put the person in the landscape. So he'll often shoot from a low angle so that you look at it and feel like you're standing there in that space. And he likes the idea that people can take these prints and put them in an office or a home environment and feel that connection to nature, which he finds so validating. A show like this for someone like him who, who can be quite shy, even though he's got such a big personality, it's important to him and it's so beautiful to see all these people in the community come out to support him and it just validates the work he's been doing because it's so easy when you're a photographer to shoot in your little bubble and edit them on your computer and then they never go anywhere and you don't realise that they're that good and they are. Over the last two years since we've been hanging out together his photography has just gotten better and better and he's just turned into this excellent photographer and I'm quite proud of him actually it's really really great well it was interesting watching his journey when he started he started ph photography taking a bit of instruction from a friend and then he went and got his own camera and I, I've watched him really take a shining to the photography and he, he likes to do a lot of different photography using different skills and he, he likes to have a lot of different skills but he's maintained that one skill of doing photography over the years and he's been involved in the deaf community doing photography throughout the deaf community as well. So it's been lovely to see him develop that skill and follow his style of photography. He shows us like the mental determiner, the strength and determination that he has and he's not someone who is easily led either or easily distracted. He, he'll want something and he will keep on going and persevering with it until he gets it. I think it's been really big. It's been a big step for him to make him feel validated as, uh, with his work. Because for many years he's been developing his skills and developing relationships within the community, developing contacts, with different artists and galleries and other photographers around the area. So this today, this exhibition is the culmination of all of that hard work over the last few years. So I think it will give him that motivation to continue and know that he's on the right path.